What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a Minecraft server status bot. I did a tutorial like this roughly a year ago, but I feel like it's time to redo that tutorial as a lot of things have changed with the package that we used. So I'm actually going to do this for every video that we have going on in this channel from now on. Go ahead and show you the package that we're using and also tell you that there's going to be a link in the description so you can come here and read the package yourself. So we're going to be using minecraft-server-util. Come here if you guys want to read everything, you know, read all the examples and everything how it works. However, we're going to copy this install command here and go into our project and install the package into our project, which is just npn i minecraft-server-util. So go ahead and install that and let's go ahead and get started. So if you're new here, make sure to watch the event handler video where we restructured our whole entire project. So if you're lost, make sure to watch that. So our command, I think the name for our command is going to be MC server.js. And as typical as everything, start with the module that exports with a name, a description and the execute command. So the name of course is MC server make sure this is the exact same name as the name of the file then we have the description which you can write whatever you want so for me it's going to be get information about a minecraft server and finally we're going to do the execute method and we're going to get clients we're going to get message the args and actually passing discord because we're going to be creating an embed from here, let's go ahead and open up this execute method. And the first thing you want to do is check if the user sent the first argument and the second argument. Let me actually show you how the command is going to work. You're going to be able to do MC server passing the server IP. So let's just do high pixel. So MC that high pixel dot net. And then they also have to pass in the ports. So 25565 is the regular port. And if you have a different port, you're going to put a different port here for the Minecraft server. But typically it's 25565. So we're going to check that it did this argument right here, which is the IP address. And then the second argument, which is the port. So if the first argument does not exist, so args zero, we're just going to simply return a message saying, Hey, enter an IP address. So return message that channel that send. And we're going to send a message saying, please enter a Minecraft server IP. And then for the second argument, so if the second argument does not exist, we're going to return message.channel.send, and we're going to send, please enter a Minecraft server port. From here, let's actually import the Minecraft util uh, package that we installed. So up here, const util is equal to require and we're going to require Minecraft server util. Now, since we installed that package, we can actually use that package in our code, which is going to be util that, oh, that's not util, util dot status. And we're going to pass in the first argument. This is going to be the server IP. So if you want to hard code it, you could just simply put a server IP here with a string. However, we're going to get this from the user. So it's going to be args zero, which is the IP address of the server. And then we're going to open this up and we also want to get the port. So port, and that's going to be the second argument. So the enter after this, we're just going to simply do a dot. Then we're going to get the response that we're getting from the package. So we're going to name it response and open it up with an arrow function. And also we're going to catch just in case there's an error. So let's do the catch first in here. Actually, it has to be dot dot catch. We're just going to get the error. If something happens, let's open this up one more time with an error function and then do message that channel that send and let's send them a message saying there was an error finding this server. And we also want to throw the error in the console. So throw error up here back into the den response. We're going to get the response by getting the response and then passing it into an embed. So let's go ahead and create an embed. So const embed equals uh, new discord that message embed. And let's add the field. So set color. And for the color of the embed, I'm just going to get a random hex color. This one should be fine. 
And then the title of our embed is going to be a simple title. We're just going to do MC uh, server status. And now we have to add our fields. So add fields. And the type of fields we're going to do, we're going to do three, four fields. So let's add four of them just like this. One, two, three, and the final one. The first field is going to be the IP address. So name of the field is going to be server IP. And the value of that is actually going to be with the response. So actually, just for the tutorial sake, I'm actually going to comment this entire embed out. And what we're going to do is console.log the response to see what we're getting from the Minecraft server util package once we enter an IP address with the ports. So console log response. This is only for the tutorial, just showing you what you're going to get as a response. So let's go ahead and run our bot and go into our server and run this command. There was an error find the server mc server that mc that high pixel. Let me actually check the error. What's the error? I think we have to parse. Yeah, we have to parse the port as an int. So here in the ports, just do parse int and open this up with simple parentheses because right now we're getting a string from the user. We want to get an integer, which is the actual ports. So let's go ahead and rerun that. There's going to be a link in the description to the code. It's a really short video, but if you guys need the code, there's going to be a link in the description for that. So let's actually do the exact same thing. Hypixel.net 25565. And if we go back into our project, you're going to see that we got this response. So this is the response we're getting from the package. This is the Fabicon, which is kind of the image of the Minecraft server. We have the description. However, they use the Minecraft coding for colors. So you might not want to use the description text, but this is the information we get. We get the port, we get the host, we get the version it requires to play that Minecraft server, the online players, the max players, and you can get a lot more information like sample players if you go into um, this response and get more information. So for the embed, let's actually go ahead and uncomment comment our embed. And let's say for the server IP, we're going to get the uh, response of the host. So in here for the value, we're going to do response dot host. The next thing we're going to do is do the max, the online players. Let's do online players first. So the online players and the value of that field is going to be response that online players. Next thing is going to be the max players. So name max players players. And the value of this is going to be, of course, response that max players max. Uh, response response that max players and finally what we want to do is have the version of that minecraft server so people can know exactly what minecraft version they have to run so we're going to do version and in here we're going to do value of response that and it's going to be version and finally all the way down here you could add a footer actually i'm gonna go ahead and do that just why not so set footer and the name of this footer is just going to be MC server util by code lion. Why not? So why not advertise ourselves as the footer? And to finish everything off, all you have to do is just send the embed. So message that channel that send and we name this embed embed up here. So embed. Go ahead and close this, save everything, go into our terminal and go ahead and rerun your bot. Go into your Discord server and let's rerun that command mc server mc.hypixel.net25565. And we're going to get that embed with all the information we need. We have the server IP, the online players, the max players, and the version that it requires. So you can run this exact same command over time and you're going to see that the online players is going to change. So this changed from here. And also you can do multiple Minecraft servers. So actually I have this website here. Let's choose a random server, MC prison, and we're going to get the IP address. Now, if the server doesn't have the port, then it's just going to be automatically 25565. So MC server, get the IP address and the port is going to be 25565. However, if a server has a different port, which is 
it's rare that a server has a different port uh, but if it does just go ahead and change the port here so let's check the mc prison there we go online players these guys are pretty much maxed uh, so these are the online players these are max players and the current version is this right here so i'm guessing 1.16 so that's it it's pretty quick tutorial not a lot of code and yeah so if you want to create a minecraft discord server go ahead and use this and that will be it for this tutorial so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to subscribe i'll be doing more cool tutorials like this in the future i have a pretty special one planned for uh, my next video which is going to be pretty impressive and i know you guys are going to like it so make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys later on my next video peace